In today's weight capacity comparison, we're gonna be comparing the very electric standing desk to the fully Jarvis. Now, if you've watched these videos before, you know we look at four different capacities. First, we'll look at a 100 pound comparison, second, a 200 pound comparison, then for this video, we'll be maxing out the very desk at 260 pounds, and then finally, we'll be maxing out the fully Jarvis at 350 pounds. Before we jump into the test, there's a couple things I wanna cover just so that you know what to look for as we're going through the test. So the first thing is, we like to set each desk at the same height, this is a sitting height, and then we'll have the desk end up at the same spot as well. This gives you a better idea on what to look for as they're moving up and down and see how each performs compared to one another. Look at different things as the desks are moving up and down, the low height, mid height, and upper heights, and see how those desks are performing, different sounds, things of that nature. Each desk has a one touch functionality, which means I'll easily be able to press both buttons and move out of the way so that you can see each desk a little bit better. Now the first test is 100 pounds. You can see we've got a setup back here with some cinder blocks and some additional weights. This is gonna put each desk right around that 100 pound mark. For our second test, we will be comparing approximately 200 pounds for each desk. Again, if you look behind me, you can see we've got a six cinder block set up for each desk with a little bit different weight set up with the dumbbells. For our third test, we will be maxing out the first desk, which is the very electric standing desk. This has a max capacity of 260 pounds. So the setups behind us are slightly different just to accommodate the different weights of the work surfaces, but each desk is set up at approximately 260 pounds. For our fourth and final test, we will be testing the max capacity on the fully Jarvis product. Now this is a 350 pound capacity. It does have overload protection on it and it's very sensitive. So it really likes to trigger right at that 350 pound mark. So hopefully we won't have any issues here for the test. Now the very product, it does have overload protection as well, but it has a much larger threshold. So it will allow us to go over the max capacity, which again is 260 pounds. So with that, let's get started with the final comparison. Hopefully this weight capacity comparison of the very product versus the fully Jarvis gave you a better idea on how different weights will impact each desk's performance. Now, what did we find out from this video? Each desk is actually very similar in how they perform, but the one thing that you wanna take note of is that the weight capacities, the ratings that are given by each of these brands are pretty significantly different. And I wouldn't recommend you overload any of the desks just for fear that you would void your potential warranty. Something else we noticed when we tested the fully Jarvis product is as you got very close to that 350 pound capacity, the desk did slow down quite a bit and then triggered its overload protection once you exceeded that weight. So that's something to take note of if you do decide to go that route, you'll know you're getting very close because the desk will slow down. Otherwise it stays pretty consistent through the different weights that are tested. Now, if you like this video, we got a ton of these videos coming out. So don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss it on many of the different popular brands being compared to each other. And don't forget on Instagram, we've got a ton of behind the scenes stuff going on there. And we're also doing a lot of giveaways of the different products we sell on btod.com. So follow us there. Thanks a lot for watching.